Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about axillary lymph nodes ultrasound. A normal axillary lymph node has a hypoechoic outer cortex with echogenic central hilum. This outer layer, hypoechoic layer, is the cortex and the central fatty hilum will be echogenic. The normal lymph node usually measures less than 1 cm in longest dimension and its cortex size is usually less than 3 mm. The lymph node will have an oval shape and smooth border. On color Doppler, minimal vascularity in the hilum will be seen. So when we apply color Doppler, we will find small Doppler signals indicating minimal vascularity in the lymph node. A reactive lymph node is seen in association with an infection, inflammation, or autoimmune disease. A reactive lymph node is not related to any cancer. A reactive lymph node is usually enlarged, measuring greater than 1 cm, and the cortex can be more than 3 mm. A reactive lymph node will maintain its oval shape and the hilum will also be visible. If we see the hilum, its oval shape is maintained, then we can say it is a reactive lymph node. It is associated with any infection, inflammation or autoimmune disease. This is another image showing a reactive axillary lymph node. We can see it is enlarged. Its size was more than 1 cm and the cortical thickness or cortex size was greater than 3 mm. The oval shape is maintained and we can also see the central fatty hilum. When Doppler is applied, we will see increased hilar vascularity. This is another feature of our reactive lymph node. We can see increased Doppler signals as compared to the normal image. We see very less Doppler signals. This increased central vascularity is a sign of a reactive lymph node. This is another image showing hypervascularity in the central hilum in a reactive lymph node. The lymph node is enlarged. The cortical thickness is also more than 3 mm. A malignant axillary lymph node is associated with cancer. It will have a rounded shape. It loses its usual oval shape and appears more rounded. Another main feature is the loss of central echogenic hilum. We do not see a central bright structure, that is the fatty hilum. In a malignant lymph node, it will be lost. Overall, it will have a heterogeneous appearance. We can see mixed echoes in the lymph node. The lymph node may also have irregular borders. This is another image of a malignant axillary lymph node. The central fatty hilum, the echogenic hilum, is absent. There is increased cortical thickness, but the main feature is the loss of central echogenic hilum. On color Doppler, we will find peripheral vascularity in a malignant lymph node. We can see Doppler signals at the borders of the lymph node. The lymph node has a heterogeneous appearance and there is absence of a central echogenic hilum. It also has a more rounded shape. This is another image of a malignant axillary lymph node showing peripheral vascularity on color Doppler. 
the lymph node has a rounded shape and there is loss of central echogenic fatty hilum. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.